In this Star Wars Outlaws news update video, I will be sharing with you the very first gameplay of this brand new open world Star Wars game. I was just invited by Ubisoft to experience a behind the scenes exclusive look at the game and I have some exclusive details to share with you. But before we do get into them, make sure you do subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any future Star Wars Outlaws news update videos. So as you can see, this awesome gameplay was just revealed. It showcases the various aspects of the game, specifically the three key pillars that Ubisoft said to me were the main things about this game. Number one being dense living cities. That's right, what we've been waiting for is livable worlds and they will be filled with NPCs and things to do. The next pillar is vast, stunning open environments. And as you can see, you're able to just explore and go wherever you want and it looks pretty awesome. You're going to be able to traverse on foot as well as various vehicles. The third pillar is lucrative but risky space travel and exploration as well as combat. So you're able to see in this gameplay that you can travel from planet to planet, moon to moon, as well as fight in space. But what people have been waiting for is the seamless ground to space flight. That's right, you can walk into your ship where you've parked it, jump into the pilot's cockpit, take off and just fly into space like so. It's that simple. You can also go into light speed as well, which is awesome. During the behind the scenes deep dive, we saw a bunch of really cool concept art that basically showcased what we saw in the trailer, to be honest. It was a pretty good representation of what the gameplay has. It, there wasn't too much of a difference, so they've recreated the concept art pretty well. There were also some slightly different looks and angles of the actual gameplay. It was just a cinematic view of various aspects of the gameplay, not from the third person perspective. Another thing about space combat is you're able to use your thrusters, there's various weapons including rockets, and repair your ship on the fly. We finally got a name for the iconic commando droid as seen in the teaser trailer and is also found in this trailer inside a cantina and he is called ND5 so that's his name. He's going to be a friendly that you'll be going around with during the game at some point. There are two systems in this game that are very interesting. We have the wanted system like GTA and the reputation system like Red Dead. So what happens is, is that you can make various decisions, whether it be dialogue options, for example, bribe or don't bribe, or if you're just going around the game world and do certain things, it will affect your reputation with various criminal organisations, such as the Pike Syndicate, as well as the Empire itself. You're able to see the reputation growing against the Empire in the top left hand corner of the screen. When you become wanted, you get this big flashing red text all over the screen and you know you are under threat and being hunted by the Empire or one of the other organisations. Kay's ship is called the EML 850 Light Freighter. It's got a pretty cool interior and is quite big, much bigger than I thought it was going to be. In terms of locations we're able to explore, Toshara is the brand new planet created for this game. It's probably going to be one of the main central planets that we'll be able to visit. You can also spot Tatooine in this gameplay trailer as well, fighting off against the Empire there, plus Kajimi from The Rise of Skywalker, and I love the look of it, so I'm pretty excited to go there. There are also a few other planets, but we don't have the names for those at this moment in time. As for combat, Kay has a blaster that has various modules that you're able to change, so her blaster has equipped in this gameplay the blaster mode, the focused mode, and stun mode. I think this is similar to how Jin's A180 works, so you just can on the fly change what mode it wants to be in for certain situations, whether you want to be more stealth, which was pretty good to see. I'm glad we got to see stealth gameplay in this game. You can't really do that in Jedi Survivor much, so it was really good to see the actual stealth gameplay in a Star Wars game, or you could just go out guns blazing. Included in the stealth gameplay is Nyx, so Nyx is this creature that's Kay's personal companion, and... It does work very similar to BD1 because you'll be able to command this creature what to do. But what I do like is how you're able to pick a target, for example, a control access panel, and have Nyx go over and activate it if you don't want to go over there. So that's something that BD1 doesn't do. You have to be close to something to activate it. 
So yeah, very similar to BD1, but also very different. This gang in this area of Toshara speaks Huttis, and they have some Imperial and Rebellion ships in new paint jobs, so it looks like they've stolen them and they're customising them for their faction. In terms of when we'll be hearing more about this game next, expect something at Comic Con International San Diego happening on July 20th through to Sunday, July 23rd. The cast and crew of the game will be there, and I'll be looking forward to seeing what will be announced at that event. We're just over a month away from that, so pretty good that we're getting more news about the game in just over a month, so stay subscribed for that. I thought if this gameplay showcase was really good. I'm glad that they showcased so much in terms of gameplay just after the announcement. We only found out about this game two years ago, and we've already got over 10 minutes of footage, and it shows quite a lot of what this game is about. It overall does look good, but some of the gameplay, specifically the vehicle combat, does look a bit stiff. Maybe it's just the camera and things like that. It just doesn't flow as much as I would like. I don't think the wide aspect ratio helps it at all. I don't know why they were playing in widescreen, because it just doesn't fit this game, in my opinion. For this gameplay showcase, they really should have just done it in 16 by 9 Most people would be playing that way. But anyway, they're the only real bad things I will really take away from this gameplay. Some of it's personal preference, some of it can be improved, so we'll have to wait and see how the game looks the next time we do end up seeing it. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so let me know down in the comment section below your thoughts on all of this gameplay video. There is just so much to break down, it's pretty awesome that they just showcased so, so much with us. And if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like, subscribe so you don't miss any future videos on this game. If you did miss any of my previous videos, click on the playlist on screen right now. And I shall see you in my next Star Wars Outlaws video. Goodbye.